हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ प्लांट इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट रूट स्टेम फ्रूट लीफ फ्लावर एंड देयर फंक्शंस क्लियर विद दिस एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लीव्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रूट्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट दैट आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी नाउ द ट्री structure or plant structure is generally divided into two parts the part which is above the ground yes this is the first part and the part which is below the ground second part clear with this mainly it is divided into two parts the structure of a plant is divided generally into two parts first part the part which is above the ground and second part the part which is below the ground and the three main parts of the plant are leaf stem and root and as the time goes the plant bear flower and that flower is then transformed into the fruit everyone is knowing this thing so this is nothing but the structure of a plant clear with this see now plant structure can generally be divided into two parts the stem which grows above the ground and the root which grows below the ground surface the root stem and leaves are the main parts of the plant from time to time plants bear flowers for reproduction flowers are transformed into fruits fruits have seeds and seeds give rise to new plants so this is nothing but the cycle of a plant now see over here a plant it bears flower yes or no as the time passes this flower is transformed into fruit this fruit have seeds clear with this these seeds give rise to new plant so this is nothing but the structure of a uh, the life cycle of the plants clear with this plants bear flower flowers are transformed into fruits fruits have seeds seeds give rise to new plant and again the cycle goes on clear with this next see the flower this is the most attractive part of the plant it is connected to the stem by a stalk can you see this is the stalk and it is connected to this stem yes or no it is connected to the stem by a stalk which may be long or short a flower has a typical color and shape the flower is an important means of reproduction in plants clear with this next the stem the height shape and size of a stem plant depends upon the stem the stem carries out the functions of the production conduction and storage of food in some plants it has the function of reproduction the stem gives support to the other parts of the plant so this is the stem part which gives supports to other parts of the plant the flowers the leaves the fruits all are attached to this stem clear with this next see the leaf the leaf is flat it plays an important role in the production of food leaves are mainly of two types simple and compound now see over here the two types of leaves are there simple leaves and compound leaves if you find the leaves you can see in your surroundings the hibiscus leaf the rose leaf now i am having over here a leaf of a peepal tree how it is it is a simple leaf and this one is a leaf which is of which kind compound leaf yes or no this is one example of compound leaf next the fruit fruits have different shapes fruits contain one or more seeds the pods of beans and beans are actually the fruits beans we are seeing those are nothing but the actual fruits which are coming inside that 
covered uh, this thing next we are going to study about the root roots hold the soil firmly and anchor the plant keep firms the plant the main functions of the root are to absorb and transport water and nutrients from the soil yes or no in photosynthesis diagram we have seen the roots are the main support of the plant which help the plants to get water and nutrients from the soil the roots of carrot and radish also store food we find carrot and radish under the ground that is nothing but the root part so it stores food there are two types of roots tap roots and fibrous roots tap roots example hibiscus plant and banyan plant have tap roots those roots plants we can't easily take away from the ground but fibrous roots onion and grass which we can easily take out from the ground so this is the part of the root that we have we can see in the onion so which kind of root is this it is a fibrous root if you have at your house you can see it okay clear with this this is an onion next period we are going to study about need for classification of plants thank you